Hello everyone. This video provides what I'm sure to be a helpful interpretation of the significance of the lagged dependent variable in the dynamic panel GMM model. This variable, which is endogenous by construction since it is the lagged value of the dependent variable, captures what's called persistence in the behavior of the series. Persistence here suggests that history or past behavior plays a role in the current behavior of the dependent variable. In other words, the way that y responds to the explanatory variables today in part depends on how it responded in the past. And so in a nutshell, persistence means that history matters. What this means too, though, is that coefficients from static models like pooled or less and fixed effects would naturally differ from those obtained from dynamic panel methods. Because when y, the dependent variable exhibits high persistence using these static models would produce biased and inconsistent results as Blundell and Bond have noted. And so it's not really a good idea to directly compare coefficients from static models to those obtained from panel data GMM estimation. And this is critical because a lot of times when we do panel studies, we tend to have a table where in the first column we show results of pooled RLS, in the second one, fixed effects, and the third one, perhaps GMM. And the temptation to compare the values of the coefficients across the columns is pretty high. And so caution is called for. The coefficients of the lag dependent variable is the persistence parameter. The values are somewhere between zero and one. And so after estimation, it's necessary to ensure that the value of the coefficient is both positive and statistically significant because a significant coefficient value is what confirms the dynamic character of the model. Otherwise, the use of a static model may well be sufficient. The higher the value of the coefficients, the more persistence the series is said to be. In fact, some authors have referred to it as the speed of adjustments to normal levels. If the coefficient value is close to zero, it suggests low persistence in the behavior of the series, the case where historical events and activities have very little influence on the dependent variable, and that most of what influences the behavior of the dependent variable are gonna be current events and current conditions. If on the other hand, the coefficient value is close to one, then it suggests strong persistence, the case where history weighs heavily on the behavior of the series. So to help put this in some practical context, I share the results of two empirical studies that provide helpful interpretations of this coefficient. The first here is a behavioral study that investigates the factors influencing life satisfaction. Here, the coefficient value is only 0.1. And so the authors conclude that here, history only has a small influence on life satisfaction, that most of what contributes to life satisfaction are current circumstances and events. And so history matters but not that much, they conclude. The second one here is a financial study that examines the determinants of profitability in European banks. In this study, the coefficient value is 0.26. However, the degree of persistence is much higher for French banks with a coefficient value of 0.31, causing the authors to conclude that the historically high level of government protection, well, regulation, in France has insulated banks from the full rigors of competition. Now though, in some cases, you might wind up with an unrealistic value, such as a negative value, which tends to occur if the sample period is too small. So to recap, in the video before this, I discussed the dynamic linear model, explained the benefits of GMM estimation and outlined GMM specifications. In this current video, I've discussed the implication of the lagged dependent variable and its coefficients and how to interpret the coefficient value in an empirical study. Going forward, I'm gonna use eViews to demo the estimation of difference GMM and 
system GMM beforehand, I'm going to interpret estimation results. So stay tuned and thank you.